Hey guys, Tennis Play Game of Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This was originally released in 2008. Um, I think the Special Edition came out 2015, that's what it shows down there. Uh, by Capcom, of course. And uh, yeah, this Devil May Cry is one of the most famous hack and slash series. And uh, I played 3 and 5. I don't think I played 4 yet though. And I played DMC Devil May Cry as well. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see. Start. Why is it going to give me a little game here? I can't do a new game? That's weird. Why can't I do a new game? Game select. Later Dark Knight 1. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to actually go so here. Just My bad. That's so weird. <laughs> Can I choose a different mission? Okay, I didn't know that was the mission start. Okay, let's do uh, mode for those recommended new. Those are, okay, yeah, Legendary Dark Knight is actually the difficulty. I see. Yep. So you can choose Nero, Dante, Virgil, Lady Trish. Let's see, Lady Trish. Um, live to tell the tale. It's Devil Hunter, I guess. This is medium setting. I'm, I'm guessing. The Legendary so Dark Knight is the hard, hardest Sparta. mode, I think. The story goes that Sparta served as the feudal lord of the city long ago. The people who live there today take these legends as truth. And I guess if I choose the girl, then it might play a little bit like Bayonetta, which is um, a stylistic hack and slash, but you, you know, instead of a guy, it's a girl. But the real problem is the order. Lately, they've been running amok, catching demons, and have even graphics are pretty good. I mean, this is. Is this a remaster? Uh, it's not, right? Zoo. This is 2008. Pretty good graphics. They've though. also been targeting devil arms. Like the ones you have. Okay. Okay, let's just begin. Enough chit chat. Let's just begin. Let's just start. Yeah, so it's a bit like Bayonetta, I guess, using the girl. This is a uh, stylistic action. Yes, I know how to jump. Oh my god, do I really need to be shown how to jump? <laughs> okay, can I skip this tutorial? Oh, there's no way to skip it. Can I skip this? I really don't need to be shown how to, how to jump. This is kind of ridiculous. I know how to jump. Jumping is just such a... It's like the most basic video game skill or something. Fine, if you roll it. Fine, really. I can't definitely cry so the time that this so it's kind of just keep me in the air. It'll like juggle me in the air basically. I don't even know what 
no weapon. Pretty good for 2008. Yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't feel dated at all. Actually, graphics are pretty good. Dead May Cry has always been one of the best graphics in the game, so. Flashing thing here. For some reason, that there's a flashing thing on my map here. I don't know why. No, I need to do. That flashing thing on my map, then it says to. I, I instantly think of that as like a waypoint, but then it doesn't make sense here. Oh, dancing clowns on top of cars, clown monster sickle things. Actually, they look like they came from Prototype, if you guys remember that game. Remember Prototype? It's kind of a forgotten open world game, but yeah.
it's not like a straight affair of just hack and slash like um, Fire Emblem Warriors, for example. That's like a more straightforward one. This is yeah, it's straightforward, I think. What there's a wall here? The map is showing me that there is a door here. It doesn't make sense because I don't see the door here. Huh. That's weird. I don't know how to open any of these. Yeah, I don't know how to even get that. Right, so there's nothing I can do here. Nothing I can do. came from, so I don't get it. This is where I came from, right? Maybe I gotta go back outside? What, does that one have to do? So many weird things in this game. Why would the staircase lead to a wall? <laughs> That's such a weird design, okay. Why is it showing me that there's a door here? I don't get it. The map is showing me some weird stuff. The map is showing me that... That there is a corridor here. corridor here and then there is a door here. Is it not telling me which level it's on? Is that one? I mean, it's not telling me which level it's on. Okay. Now would he beat everyone here? Yeah, this game is um, really making me confused. Yeah, that's where I came from, and then I go here.
I don't get it. Um, I'm stuck. Because I don't know where the next... Like, how can I open these doors? I don't know. Vital star. This door is slightly less power. Proud soul. Indispensable as crystal to awaken the even e e power within each evil. And this was boosting one's abilities. Okay, how do I use them? Do I know how to use these? Just... Nope. Yeah, I don't know. If that's supposed to be used or something. This was the here. Time to get What am I doing here? This is our little uh taunt. Time to go to work. It's a little time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I don't really know how to progress. I mean, it seems I uh, there is no doors I can open. Nothing I can go through. Doesn't tell me how to use any special abilities to do anything. There's this thing, but I, I don't know how I can get that. So I think I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Or either this or backtrack, but I don't know. I went back to the previous areas and there's nothing too. So, um, kind of stuck on this, so. Alright, well, this was my attempt at playing Devil May Cry 4, and I kind of got stuck here already. I mean, the graphics are really nice, and of course it's got the standard Devil May Cry 4, like, flair and stuff like that. I, mean, I can't believe it's from 2008. It actually ages pretty well in terms of the graphics and gameplay, but... Yeah, I uh, just can't get past this part unless I want to read up on a walkthrough or a fact. But I don't really want to do that because I would. I mean, I just want to get into this game knowing as if it's my. I mean, it is my first time playing this game, so I don't want to like use any help or anything like that. I don't need. Um, well, I don't want to like look at some help or something like that. I want to figure this out by myself. But it's just <laughs> like it's my first time playing this game, right? So yeah, I, I don't know what to do now. But yeah, guys, Devil May Cry 4. Um, I think I still like Devil May Cry 5 and 3 a little bit better, but yeah, 4 is the nice graphics, a good, you know, this the style that you would expect from the Devil May Cry 4, uh, Devil May Cry game, right? It's got this nice stylistic flourishes, I think. So that's it, guys. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, it's a shame I couldn't figure out uh, how to get past this part, but <laughs> yeah, um, they should better, they could give you like better indicators on what to do next, I would say. The map is kind of messed up, I think. So, that's it guys, thanks for watching.